Ninja Train versus Elephant Army. A speeding train loaded with gold bullion guarded by Ninja. They're coming. With terrifying speed, a notorious and elephant army swarmed across the Great Plains in pursuit of the train. Steel! They're here. Let's go head them off. Don't let even one of them pass you. Die! All of a sudden, a huge figure comes into view, blocking out the tracks. You thought you could pass without my approval? Such arrogance is beyond ridiculous. Another elephant? Never mind him. Form an unkillable formation. No, a construction formation. Behold the power of ninja. In an instant, they spread out in all directions. Each lays down tr branching tracks. Two, five, ten. Ninja art. Uncertainty railroad. Fool. Nothing escapes my thunder. Vonya Grazny. Overkill. So, reduce us to ash, but the tracks we lay will remain. Trains will continue to run forever. I've been working on the railroad. Tips, delightful writer's production note. The folk song, I've Been Working on the Railroad, is a labor song sung during the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad, and it's been used in many movies and television series. Omaha, where many films have been set, prospered as it became a transportation hub during the gold rush. Union Pacific Railroad, which is part of a first Transcontinental Railroad project, is headquartered there. That was quite the spectacle. That's one way to put it. Exactly, after all. Their battle still isn't over. I thought this was supposed to be fiction. So, the Persian king has sheaved his spear. I shall follow suit. That's a relief. As a lone shinobi, I didn't really feel qualified to serve as a mediator between emperors. I guess they got a little carried away during filming. You mean all that actually happened? No special effects? Of course. It's so much cheaper to produce that way. Does that include the array of unfinished railroad tracks? My fellow ninja and I will restore the tracks, but I don't know how we can compensate the railroad company. I'll do my best to negotiate as low a price as possible. Once I've done that, I have complete confidence that Wookie and Mash can take care of the rest. You need us to secure funding again, right? We'll do our best. I think I've gotten the hang of it. There it is, a nice, big, nutritious meal for Lord Plesiosaurus. Isn't this great, Boss Anning? Lord Assassin's map turned out to be perfect. I still think there's something really fishy about all this. Scree! But if it'll make my baby big and strong, then I'll do it. Let's take it down. 
with a bow and a smile, we'll go the extra mile. Done and done. What shall we do with our catch boss, Anning? Let's bring it back to the ship. We'll roast the whole thing. It'd probably be tough to digest raw. And being near the Holy Grail ought to help spice it up. Understood. Then I'll gather the rest of me and carry it to the Takarabune right away. Well, Plessio, you're in for a real treat tonight. Eat up, rest up, and grow big and strong for me, you hear? Scree! And once you're all grown up... Felicitations! The railroad company is now fully compensated. Now let's all have a celebratory glass of maple syrup. Woo! Right, there's nothing better than maple syrup straight from the tap. Really do love it, don't you, Bunyan? I wonder why that is. The flavor is just so nostalgic. Like, I've known it since long before I was even born. Maybe it's the taste of something I'm secretly longing for. Anyway! I know we've made a lot of side stops, but now it's time to get down to business. So we're finally going after the Takura Bune? She just pulled a map right out. I guess she had it already? According to this map of the area, it looks like... It's heading north up one of the Mississippi branches. Then she must be heading to... The Great Lakes? You'll join my companions, right? Hmm, not my best work. You'll join my companions, right? Wookie, okay, how long have you been watching? I just got here. All right, makes sense. We were just having dinner together not too long ago. Anyway, when I'm out camping is really the only time I get any private time, when I can take a break from being everyone's leader. So this is more hobby than practice. I just really like being cuter. I'm sure you notice that though. Can I ask you about one thing I don't get? Of course, anything. There are few things more important than communication, after all. You're here to make cinematic myths, right? Uh-huh. That's my whole purpose. How come you don't feature in any of them? I can't. So I'm not cut out for lead roles. It just doesn't suit me. Doesn't suit you? Why not? Hmm, how can I put this? Of course I want to be cute. Oh, not that I'm not now. I get tons of likes and everything. But acting in a movie, being a star, that's a whole different thing. You know, I made a brief cameo in one movie. And the response was huge, like, just ignoramus. Granted, a lot of it was pretty negative and it ended up being something of a meme. Oh, that one. 
Of course, it was all done for laughs, and in that sense, it was a huge success. Really, it was. But I guess, um, I just didn't feel like that sort of thing was fun. Of course, being a comedian is an amazing profession, and I know how wonderful it is to make people laugh. But I want to shine bright, to be loved by everyone. That's just more fun. So I decided not to appear in any more movies myself. I mean, what's the point when I know I won't enjoy it? So why not play a part you enjoy then? Well... Just find a role you'd want to play like you did for Paris. A role I'd want to play. You know, if I'm being honest here, there is one role I've always wanted to play. Is this what you were talking about earlier? Uh-huh. I just know this last movie is going to be my magnum opus. I still can't tell you what it's about yet. But I hope you'll perform in it too. You want me to be in a movie, a myth with you? The very first time we met, I sensed that you were the last piece of the puzzle. The actor I had been searching for. So please, Wokey, you're the only one who can make my dream come true. Well, if you're that insistent, I'll trust you. Remissier de Dio. Ah, what a relief. Now my dream can finally come true. You'll be way better at this than I could ever be, Wookie. Alright, enough about that for now. We still need to take back the Taco de Bune before we can make this last movie. Ooh, this is so exciting. I can see our target farther up the Mississippi River now. The Takarabune appears to be anchored near Lake Michigan. Then we should be able to catch up tomorrow. Right, Senpai, our confrontation with Anning is just over the horizon. Make sure you all get plenty of rest tonight. I think I'll go do just that then. Good night, Senpai. Good night, Mesh. Very well then, if you'll excuse me, Big Boss, I'll be on my way as well. Fine with me. Thanks for everything. Thank you for your kindness. Mm. Yeah, you scared me. Mm. You want me to look over there? Daikokuten. You want me to follow her? Mm. What was that all about? I think I should check this out. I'm sorry for coming back so late, Boss Anning. Hmm? What's with the getup? What do you think you're doing, me? How could you forget to change your outfit? Ah. Uh, it's fine. You're gonna go back to Bunny in the morning anyway, right? Well, yes, but I also wanted to help take care of Lord Plesiosaurus, so... You don't gotta worry about him anymore. I'm just letting him swim around in this great feeding ground we found. We're just collecting snacks for him. Looks like he's especially fond of those big Meganura uh, dragonfly things. So if you come here to check up on him, you're out of luck, Wokey. Big boss? It's okay, you don't have to panic. You mean, you're not mad? What unbelievable generosity. You're the pinnacle of understanding we should all strive for. But then why'd you follow me at all? 
you couldn't have just let me go without saying anything. I thought I might get to see Anning. Huh? Me? I'm concerned about Plesiosaurus, but he can wait. Why did you and Bunyan stop being friends? Stop? We never started. I just stuck around, because it was part of my job. I only materialized in the Singularity world because Bunny summoned me, just like with the rodents here. But I got sick and tired of being one of her employees, and when I couldn't take it anymore, I bailed. And if I'm going to keep going in on in this world, I'm going to have to settle things with her once and for all. Are you only talking about yourself? Why would you ask that? You really care about me that much? Ha! Huh, nice try. But you can't fool me. I already decided not to ever count on anyone else again. You're not just one of Bunyi's employees. You're here to get rid of this world so you can restore humanity. Which means you and I can never be allies. Ever. The only way to settle this is the old fashioned way. You know that too, don't you? It's true. You're right about everything. There, you see? I knew you were my enemy. I knew it all along. So cut the whole nice girl act. In fact, since you're here, I might as well just kill you and have done with it. Please don't. Hmm. <laughs> oh, fine. Never mind. But don't mistake this for mercy, you hear? I just want you to see how strong my baby is. I want to see you quake in your boots before he ends you. Say hi to him for me. Shut up. Just go already. Get out of here. 